Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Guess where I've been? That's right, I went to an amazing crafting retreat that my upline put together this weekend. Lots of fabulous crafty people all together in the same place, sharing inspiration, meeting up with old friends and making new friends. Um, I had the most amazing time. I always do. I absolutely love these things. Um, it's a shame that we can only do them once a year, but I think it would get extremely expensive on everybody's behalf to do it more than once. Um, but I absolutely love it, and I, I can't really put into words how how nice it is and how how for, well f personally for me i find it a fabulous break from cooking and cleaning and doing all the household chores and the motherly wifey jobs that i do every day um going to work everything else it's just so nice to step away from that and then to be with friends to be with like-minded people who who as stamping up say in their statement of the heart we share what we love and it is just amazing and I absolutely love it and I know I'm waffling and I am just gushing and gushing with it all but I seriously do love it and you know if you want to be part of this you just simply become a demonstrator um okay not everybody does it obviously I know that my upline and I know a couple of others that do it um but seriously if you want to come along with me join my team and come with me to these amazing experiences and obviously we get all these swaps now not everybody makes them and that's absolutely fine um i'm a big believer in i don't give to receive i give because i love to give people gifts and i love to share things um but i was very lucky and i got all of these goodies given back to me to swap so I'm gonna go through them my first one though I have to pick up because this is from my gorgeous friend Tina who lives in Germany and yeah I only get to see once a year and it's because of stamping up that I met her um I miss Tina so much we we're so far apart obviously she's in Germany I'm in the UK um but if it wasn't for stamping up I would never have met her and I would never have made this amazing friendship um and so yeah so this is her little swap so I, I don't really want to undo the bow but I think I might have to this is the oh I can't it's knotted oh Dina I don't want to wreck it this is the beautiful, um, and I actually don't know what it's called because I don't have it, but it's the, um, it's an embossing folder and it is beautiful. Um, so it's obviously um, fresh fig ribbon there. Oh, and some beautiful chocolates inside and a little charm. Oh, they are beautiful. Thank you, Tina. I shall cherish those and I shall have them later with a cup of tea, definitely. But yeah, just again, as you can see, a lovely little box. There's her her website and her details if you want to follow her blog. Um, but yeah, just to, again to show how just layering a few things up can really make a difference. And then obviously she's added the beautiful sheer ribbon around it as well. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Tina. Um, as... I think this is a take off Poodle's, um, whatever it was that she called it that she made recently. Um, it is really clever and really beautiful um, and I don't want to wreck it too much but as she showed in her video you can open it and fill it. Um, this has got a couple of lovely sweeties in and this is from Julie Kindred. Um, as she said this is case from Poodle's um, but isn't it just beautiful? really pretty hopefully you can see her details there too i'm gonna have to go a bit quicker otherwise i'm gonna be here for hours so that's really pretty and i have some oh look oh my my favorite punch of the autumn winter catalog is the sprig punch and i love that this has been done with different colors i believe this is my other lovely friend Kay. yes paper craft skies um beautiful pencils in there they will always come in handy Fabulous, thank you very much Kate. And again, as you can see, a simple wrap just decorated with some coordinating pencils in. Again, a beautiful gift, so yes, I love that. The one I've just knocked is this lolly, and this is actually from Poodles, from my upline, so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, I think she may have used the baby white technique on that, I don't know if you can see how it's got different colours. Or maybe she just used the um, crumbs, I've forgotten the name of it the one with the different ink colours in 
Um, but a lovely lolly, thank you. A lovely little candy cane here, and again the scallop tag topper punch used there. And this is from my lovely Angelina Intertwine Designs. So again, as you can see, a lovely little mixture of proje projects and products there. And we've got a little candy cane inside. I shall enjoy all of these goodies later. Um, again, a beautiful... Um, I'm not actually sure what you would call that. I do apologise. Um, I don't know who this is from either. So again, I'm sorry. But a lovely great big paperclip there. Again, these always come in handy because I'm forever losing stuff. But that's really lovely. And again, using Tropical Chic, my favourite. I have another lovely long tube here. Lovely um, Share What You Love DSP. Oh yes, with a pencil and a pen inside and this one doesn't tell me who it's from so thank you whoever that was from lovely very useful lovely um long tall slim box there i do like that very much oh i don't know where to go next this one is from beautiful heidi so flutter by heidi the details for this are on her website i don't want to wreck this heidi either and inside oh oh it's a it's a little pen Oh, oh, that's super cute. Oh, I love that, Heidi. That is fabulous. Thank you so very much. That's cute. I love that. And I love the way this box folds together. Super simple. And as it says, the details are on her blog. Um, super. I love that. Really cute. A dinky dinky box here. And, oh my goodness. Oh, this is clever. I like this idea. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Oh, I have to put that down. And this is from... This is from Tony, Tony Stokes. I don't have her website on there. But this is so dinky. And in here... What's in here? Scissor charms. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh, I like those. Very pretty. Some super cute scissor charms and what does this say in here is this the same oh and she tells you why she's chosen the scissor charms and the rose quartz that's beautiful I will have a look at that in detail today I'm actually going to put that to one side so I can put it all back together oh next 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 my favorite little trick-or-treat ones and they've used the DSP here with the frogs that's really cute and inside Oh my goodness, <laughs> some Halloween sweets. I've got an eyeball and I have some Halloween sweeties as well. I wonder if they're going to be tricks. Who knows? And on the inside is what's been used. And this is from Kaz Shears, who's storm stamping. Thank you very much, Kaz. I don't know whether I dare eat these sweets or not. <laughs> you never know with Halloween sweets. This is the beautiful, is it, I can't remember, it's apron something, I, it's the one I didn't buy, but that is lovely. And I'm just going to open this up, because I did have a little peek earlier to see what this was, because I was so curious. And inside is how to make chuck wagon sauce. How amazing is that? So that's from Joe Penny or Joe Wallace. Um, isn't that just fabulous? Great idea. Simple gift, but how beautiful is that? Thank you, Joe. And it was lovely to sit on the table with you as well and get chatting. That was great. Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. I don't want to wreck this, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to get into it without. I'm not actually going to get into this without wrecking it. Let me use my scissors and try and do it as delicately as I can. Trim the end off. Oh, it's Kinder. I love Kinder. I'm hoping there's some details in here of who gave me this one because sadly I can't remember. No, there isn't. Oh, but this is beautiful. I love the way it's all wrapped together. So thank you, whoever this was, that gave me some beautiful kinder that I can have later. Lovely. Thank you very much. Another one that's used similar paper. Now, this would have been the great, no, pineapple punch in colour. And I believe this may be crushed curry. Very nice. So let me have a look. Oh, another one that I can't get into. Oh, crumbs. Let's just trim. Give it a little trim. There we go. And inside here, 
some wow some body lotion that's beautiful and let's have a look who this is from Catherine Catherine drink water again Catherine it was lovely to meet you thank you so much for all your kind words and it's a box in a bag so yes the bottom is actually a box and then as you can see the rest of it is made up with a bag and some beautiful body lotion thank you very much Catherine shall enjoy using that my very own favorite Helsey Helsey Helen Slim oh beautiful cup of tea and I bet she used the envelope punch board to use there to make this up that's beautiful she's slim and stylish lovely thank you Helen another little cute one here and this is Pac-Man how clever this is from Varied Vases punch that they've tipped upside down and turned into Pac-Man that's just fabulous isn't it I'm just trying to untie this bit here and then there's a little box on the inside with a little tea light in fabulous whoops and this is from Louise Dwyer who actually I believe was her birthday while we were there as well so I hope you had a great time Louise um salt I'm sorry if I'm not reading this right salt of fern paper crafts that's who she is but how fabulous is that so clever fold this back up there we go beautiful thank you cute little box this is from Chrissy Wilson whoopsie daisy delights inside here this is cute oh stuck with a glue dot oh some Elizabeth Shaw mint that's really lovely but again a simple way of showing off the beautiful DSP and a little pouch ideal little favour beautiful thank you Christy I'm going to pop that back in there quickly so I know who to whose things were from who great big bag of goodies here this is from Karen Egan lovely to meet you Karen um, and again as you can see there's some beautiful biscuits in there definitely be having those with a cup of coffee later I'll just pull that out so they sit lovely they sit in there that's really cute thank you and then this long tall box which again has had the um, varied vases punch used on it and, yes I can open it without wrecking it oh and that's beautiful a lovely pen that's great thank you Karen lovely really pretty that pen is so I'll pop those back in there rather quickly I'm sure you're all looking at one saying open that one open that one <laughs> and I'm going around all of the others and um, this is from the beautiful Justina who's perfect crafts and this again your beautiful velvet ribbon I love this I haven't used it actually for a while so thank you Justina I must get this used oh the biscuits 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 I don't know why I'm talking in this ridiculous voice it's just because I get very excited I didn't have a chance to look at these at all this is the first time I'm looking at them with you guys um oh yes some beautiful biscuits thank you Justina gorgeous I love how she's done this really pretty thank you very much sour cream pouch beautiful Full, and the bottom has come slightly unstuck or it had oh here we go so I'm actually going to go with it and use this bit to open there's a road sweeper outside unsurprisingly because I'm doing videos so I do apologize for the noise what do we have in here oh some sweeties that I can't get out now because it's all stuck but there's no name on it oh my goodness I don't know who did this there is sweeties in here I don't want to pull this and oh there we go some lovely jelly sweeties but there's no name on it so thank you whoever sent me the sweeties they are beautiful this is from lovely Joanne Joanne Boxall chocolates and crafts and she says here that she's made it with the scallop tag topper beautiful little organza bag here and I hope you can see without me having to undo it some beautiful paper clips and some push pins there um, with a stamp and a clip but that's really handy I love that thank you Joe. Mickey Mouse I know this is from our very own Disney princess Ellie who is Collins and Co crafts how clever is that just simple circle punches then the red one cut in half to make a pocket and then the little buttons and the ears and then in the back 
a little band with some beautiful sweeties. Thank you, Ellie. This actually is really good because although Ellie is our very own Disney princess, she works at one of the Disney stores, um, we are actually, Ellie and I and a few others, are actually going to Orlando to the on-stage event in November, so this is even more special. So excited. I have a beautiful Frere Rocher in a amazing sort of origami folded box here. Sadly there is no details on this to who made it, but it is very clever. Thank you very much whoever did this. Beautiful. My favourite. I will be hiding that from the rest of the house. Lovely my initial on there. And inside, if I can get into it, which I can't. I don't want to wreck it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is really pretty. This, ah, uh, there we go. It has the statement of the heart inside, and I can't remember who gave me this. I think it was Sam, my lovely Sam, but it might have been Kayla. So I do apologise, I can't remember who gave me this one. I remember somebody giving me the, the one with the initial on, and I believe it was beautiful Sam. Sam Roberts and I can't remember the name of her blog either so I do apologise but that's really pretty and I love that my initial on it um, handmade by Fat Mittens <laughs> beautiful little in colour clip there and then let me get this out so Sam Hughes thank you very much Sam beautiful little card and then this lovely little box road sweeper again oh yes the Ritter Sports, I love these. These are the ones that I put in my swap, so we clearly have good taste. That's really cute, put them together. Merry Christmas, cute little box here. This is from Jez, Nigeza Creates, and um, Jez Carpenter, cute little box. I think that's really sweet. I love how she's added the little DSP and that beautiful little um, scallop circle punch on the top. I really like that, it's really cute, thank you. And then, what else? Bubbles. This is, I believe, from Verity. Yes, yeah, from Inky Butterfly. Some bubbles. How much fun are those going to be to play with? It's really clever, and that would be a great idea for a kid's party or um, favours on a table at a wedding or a party for children. Um, instead of giving them sugared almonds or whatever is your tradition, um, you could put these in. So, yeah. Well done, Ver uh, Verity. They are beautiful, and I shall have fun with those. I think my dogs will quite like them too. <laughs> oh, we're getting down the pack now, so I have a beautiful bookmark. Oh, sadly, that isn't... I don't have who that's from, but that's really pretty. My favourite again, Tropical Chic. And then Life is Sweeter with Friends Like You. This is sellotaped, and I don't know who's done this one either until I get into it. And this is, hope you enjoy your owl decoration. Oh, from Karen Varley. Oh, wow, that's really clever. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Karen. That's really pretty. That's really different. I love that. Thank you. Little box. Again, one I haven't got. The, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's purely because I don't have it, but it's the flower that goes with the punch and then a cute little box with some sweeties inside and this is from Sheila is it birch or bench I can't quite tell from that writing I do apologize some beautiful sweeties beautiful little box really cute thank you so very much Sheila and then we have this one is from Jeanette really pretty flower and I believe that has vellum over the top because it's very pale three by three card and matching envelope so yes that is beautiful thank you you're the best well i know i am <laughs> oh little velcro dot thank you for swapping with me christine christine bettany thank you christine it was a pleasure it was a pleasure to share the car journey with you oh some more chocolate do you know we ate so much this weekend just gone that i actually think that i don't need to eat for a week 
seriously it was amazing i mean we had tea and coffee morning and afternoon that came with either fresh cookies or little small cakes there's a picture of the desserts on my instagram um and that was every day and then we had lunch gorgeous proper cooked lunches and then we had meals in the evening seriously i've eaten far too much um this is from pat james beautiful pat james that is stunning pat i love that i love this little decoration at the back there I don't know what that's from. It's not one I've seen or one that I've got. And then the use of DSP and an embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that. It's clearly the subtle one. Again, I don't have it. Let me just take it out and show you. See if it picks up better without the cellophane on it. Can you see? There you go. That's the subtle embossing folder. Isn't it beautiful? I really like that. Thank you very much, Pat. Beautiful card. Beautiful ideas. Inspiration aplenty. This one's super cute. Another sweet I haven't used for ages is the animal outing. That's really cute. Thank you for being you. That's really cute. And this is from Karen Tatten, my lovely Karen. Thank you very much, Karen. It was a pleasure to share the table with you as well. We did have some giggles along the way. And this is from Tracy Walton, Wimbury Whispers. Again, using this beautiful DSP and oh, Oh, I've not had one of these for years. Thank you, Tracy. I will certainly enjoy that. Again, cute little wrap there made up just perfect with the, the leaves on. Another beautiful bookmark and some chocolates. And these are from Donna Brown. Thank you very much, Donna. Super cute. And I love those chocolates. We're getting down them, ladies. Three left love what you do that's really pretty and that's from becky lovely becky who's boppity crafts and becky is also coming to um orlando with us with faye uh, faye with Kay, her sister too so that's exciting i'm gonna save this one to last this is cute the little eskimo put on a happy face well you can't see my face so i could be happy I'm sure you know that I am. What do we have in here? Oh, what we've used, fabulous. Lisa Leland, who's Hidden Stash. Lovely, thank you very much. Beautiful. And inside here, if I can get it open. Again, a, lo oops, a lovely little pouch here. Oh, marams, again, lovely, lovely little marams. But that's really clever, again, ideal for a little kid's children's party or as a favour and last but not least oh that's really clever so it's a, a similar to the sour cream pouch but this one whoops you just press the top and it opens up oh my goodness what's in here i believe that might be a candle or maybe a bath melt oh it smells delightful it might even be soap d courtney thank you very much d i think that actually is soap that smells divine. I so wished you had smell-o-vision because that is delicious. Beautiful. Thank you, Dee. Well, those are my swaps. I've done them all. Thank you so much to everybody that swapped with me. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope it's given you all some inspiration for favours um, or little party treats or just something to give somebody. We don't have to have a reason, do we, everybody? Let's just make everywhere a little bit happier and maybe just go and give somebody a little treat. Maybe your neighbour or somebody who's looked after your cat or your garden while you've been away or something. There's no reason not to give, even if it is a cute little card. A cute little card or maybe just a little gift with some chocolate in. It doesn't matter. It all means so much, doesn't it? Hope you've all enjoyed it. I will put a lot of information on my blog and I do hope that you have a great day. See you again soon. Bye.